English speaking course. Doctor. Good morning, Mr. Clark. How are you feeling today? Morning, Dr. Miller. Not so good. My head hurts a lot. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. I think it's because of my long working hours. Stress can cause headaches. Do you rest enough? Not really. Maybe five hours of sleep? That's too little. You need at least seven to eight hours. I'll try, but work is so busy. Your health is important. Maybe consider a short vacation? That sounds nice. I haven't taken a break in a while. It's a good idea. Work is important, but so is self care. You're right, Dr. Miller. I'll consider it. And for now, I'll give you something for the headache. Thank you, Doctor. I appreciate it. Singer. David, I heard your new song on the radio. It's fantastic. Thanks, Emily. I was really nervous about releasing it. You have such a unique voice. Have a thought of an album. I'm working on it, but it's a lot of effort and time. I bet. But remember, all great things take time. True. I hope the fans will love the complete album. With your talent, they definitely will. Thanks for believing in me, Emily. It means a lot. Always. Can't wait to hear more songs from you. Soon, Emily. Very soon. Flight attendant. Amanda, there's a passenger asking if we have any parachutes on board. Oh my, why would they ask that? We're not skydiving here. I think they just watched an action movie. You know, airplane stunts. Oh goodness, we should start offering popcorn and lighter films then. True, how about rom-coms? Love in the skies, sounds catchy. Not a bad idea. Oh, speaking of, there's a couple on row seven, totally lost in each other. Ah, the magic of flying. Maybe we should play some romantic music. Ah, good point. Receptionist. Anna. Did you see that man with the parrot on his shoulder? A parrot? At a hotel? That's a first for me. He said it was his emotional support animal. Interesting choice, right? Definitely. As long as it doesn't start squawking during breakfast. Speaking of unique guests, remember the lady who requested 10 pillows? Oh, yes. She built a pillow fort in her room. Kids at heart. And then there was that couple who tried to check in their pet fish. At least fish are quiet, unless they start requesting underwater music. <laughs> We'd have to hire a DJ for that. Never a dull moment at the front desk, Mark. Actress, actor. Brian, did you hear? We might have to do the kiss scene again. Again? I thought the director loved our chemistry. He did, but the camera malfunctioned. Bad timing, right? Well, that's showbiz for you. Unexpected things always happen. 
I just don't want our acting to feel forced, you know? I get it. Let's take a moment before the scene to review. Remember the time the fake rain machine went crazy? How could I forget? We were soaked, but it made for a great scene. That's the spirit. Let's make this malfunction a memorable moment. Absolutely, Sarah. We'll knock it out of the park. Designer. Hello, Emma. Good to see you. Did you have a chance to review the fifth design revision? Hi, Frank. Yes, I went through all of them again. You've been really patient, and I appreciate that. I'm glad to assist. Have you decided on the final version? Well, this might sound surprising, but after seeing all the revisions, I think the first design was the best. <gasps> the first design? Really? Well, that is a surprise, but it's important that you're happy with the final product. Yes, it just stands out to me now. It's simple and elegant. I guess sometimes the first instinct is the right one. Chef. Noah, you wouldn't believe it. The YouTube reviewer sent the soup back. What? Was it too cold? No, she said it's too soupy. Too soupy? It's soup! What does she expect? Apparently, a spoon that stands upright. We're dealing with a tough one. Okay, game on. Let's make the thickest, most epic soup. Should we add in the lobster? Lobster, truffles, and a dash of gold leaf, because why not? This is going to be one expensive apology. If it brings us the best review of the year, it's worth it. Agreed. Let's get to it, chef. Police. Yo, guess what I found on patrol last night? Not another lost dog. Worse, a cat stuck in a tree. But not just any cat. The mayor's cat. You're kidding. That's hilarious. What did you do? What could I do? I had to rescue it. I think I've secured our funding for the next year. A hero in blue saving a cat. Classic. But the mayor's cat? That's gold. Just wait till the newspapers get a hold of this. We won't hear the end of it. Well, as long as you didn't have to chase it in a high-speed pursuit. No way. I left that part to the firefighters. Good call. You saved the cat, the day, and our budget. Nice work, Evan. Writer. Sam, I've got writer's block. No ideas are coming to me. Don't worry, Selena. Think simple. How about a story based in a small town? A small town? Okay, maybe with a mystery? Perfect. And the main character could be a teenager solving it. I like that. And he discovers hidden secrets about the town while solving it. Yes, and he could have a friend that helps him, someone unexpected. Like the quiet girl from his class who's super smart. Exactly. You see? Ideas are flowing now. You've got this, Selena. Thanks, Sam. Sometimes all we need is a little push.
farmer. Tim, I'm thinking of planting corn next season. What do you think? Corn, huh? It's a good choice, but have you checked the soil quality? Not yet. I was planning to do it next week. Make sure you do. And remember, corn needs a lot of sunlight. Thanks for the tip. How's your apple orchard going? It's doing well, but you know, pests can be a real problem. Have you tried natural repellents? I heard marigolds can help. Marigolds? I'll give it a shot. Farming always has new things to learn. Absolutely. That's what makes it exciting. Couldn't agree more. Let's keep learning and growing in every way. Nurse. Nancy, is room 305 ready for the next patient? Yes, Lisa. Just cleaned and set up. How was the night shift? Anything unusual? It was pretty quiet. Just one emergency around midnight. Oh, hope it was managed well. Yes, Dr. Allen was quick to respond. The patient is stable now. Good to hear. By the way, the new schedule is out. We're on the same shift next week. That's great. It's always smoother when we work together. Agreed. Oh, before I forget, there's a staff meeting this evening. Thanks for the reminder. I almost forgot. Pilot. Nathan, did you manage to go over today's route? Yes, Brian. Check the weather, too. We may hit some clouds near the coast. All right. I'll notify the crew. Safety first. Have you flown with the new first officer yet? No, but I hear good things. Excited to meet him. Me too. An experienced crew makes such a difference. Certainly. Let's ensure we do the system checks thoroughly. Will do. And Brian, remember to update the log before takeoff. Of course, Nathan. Thanks for the reminder. Engineer. Clara, did you get the results from the stress test? Yes, Derek. The new material holds up well, better than our expectations. That's great news. We should move forward with it then. Absolutely. But I recommend one more test in a real situation. Always thorough, Clara. All right, let's plan that. Thanks, Derek. By the way, did the client confirm the changes we proposed? Yes, I received their email this morning. They're on board. Great. Then let's finalize the designs and get to production. Agreed. We're on track to finish ahead of schedule. Cashier. Rachel, are you almost done with your shift? Just about, Adam. It's been super busy today. That's right. My feet are killing me. Yeah, I can't wait to sit down. You and me both. By the way, we're getting a new register next week. Finally, that old one freezes all the time. Yeah, it'll make our jobs easier. Just a few more days of this madness. I can't wait. Maybe fewer customer complaints, too. 
That would be the day. See you tomorrow, Rachel. Hang in there. You too, Adam. Take care. Dentist. Good morning, Lucy. How can I assist you today? Hello, Dr. Allen. I've been experiencing some sensitivity in my back tooth. I see. Have you been eating or drinking anything particularly cold or hot? Yes, cold drinks have been causing some discomfort lately. All right, let's take a look. It could be a cavity or just some temporary sensitivity. I hope it's not a cavity. I've been trying to take care of my teeth. That's good to hear. Prevention is key. Open wide for me, please. Is everything okay, doctor? I'm checking, Lucy. There might be a small cavity, but we'll address it. Carpenter. Hello, Clara. What brings you in today? Hi, Eric. I've heard great things about your work. I'm looking to get a custom bookshelf made. Thank you for the kind words. Do you have any specific design or size in mind? I want something modern but also functional. It's for my living room, so maybe around six feet tall. Sounds good. We can work with different types of wood. Any preference? I love the look of walnut. Can we use that? Absolutely. Walnut is a great choice. I'll sketch a design and get back to you with a quote. Thank you, Eric. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Lifeguard. Sam, no running near the pool. I'm just excited. Sorry. <gasps> Help! I can't swim. Everyone, stay back. I've got this. Wrap my hand, Sam. I'm trying. I'm scared. You're going to be okay. Just don't panic. Got you. Just hold on. Breathe, Sam. You're safe now. Thanks. Thank you. I thought I was gone. You've got to be careful. Promise me, no more running? I promise. No more running. That's what I like to hear. Stay safe, okay? I will. Thanks to you. Baker. Good morning. The aroma in here is heavenly. Thank you, Emma. Just pulled out a fresh batch of croissants. They look perfect. I'll take half a dozen. Coming right up. Anything else for you today? I'm thinking of trying to bake at home. Any suggestions? For beginners? Maybe start with banana bread. It's simple and delicious. Sounds good. Do you have a recipe? Of course. I'll write it down for you. And if you need any baking supplies, just let me know. Thank you so much, Ben. You're always so helpful. It's my pleasure, Emma. Happy baking! Electrician. Hello. I was told you're having some electrical issues. 
Yes, the lights in my living room flicker sometimes. Have you noticed any patterns, like during heavy appliance use? Now that you mention it, it does happen when I'm using the vacuum. It could be an overload issue. I'll check the wiring for you. Thanks. While you're at it, can you also check the outlets in the kitchen? Some don't seem to work. Absolutely. It's always good to address these issues early. I just want to keep my family safe. Electrical issues scare me. You're doing the right thing by calling a professional. I'll make sure everything is in order. Accountant. Hi, you must be the new accountant. I'm James. Hello, James. Yes, I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. I need help organizing my finances. I run my own business, and it's a bit of a mess. That's what I'm here for. Tell me more about your business. I own a cafe, but I'm not good with numbers. Taxes, invoices, payroll, it's overwhelming. I understand. We'll sort it out step by step. First, do you have all of your receipts and records? I do, but they're not organized. It's all crammed in a drawer. No worries. Collecting those is a start. I'll help categorize everything. We'll tackle this together. Sounds like a plan. I'm relieved already. Thank you, Emily. Teacher. Hello, Mrs. Anderson. You wanted to discuss Timmy's performance? Yes, thank you for seeing me, Ms. Lily. I'm just concerned. He says he's struggling in math. I've noticed. He's bright, but he's having a hard time with some topics. What can we do to help him? I'm willing to get a tutor if needed. A tutor might help, but first, let's see if extra sessions with me might clear up his confusion. That's kind of you. When can you start? How about next week? After school, for an hour, twice a week. It sounds perfect. Thank you, Miss Lily. I just want the best for Timmy. I understand, Mrs. Anderson. We're in this together for Timmy's success. Plumber. My sink has a problem. Let's see. What's wrong? Water goes drip, drip. It's noisy at night. Ah, I see. It sounds like a leak. I'll check. Thank you, Mr. Jake. No problem. Hmm. Oh, this part is old. Needs a new one. Do you have that part? Yes, in my truck. I'll change it. How long will it take? About 10 minutes, not long. Great. Do I need to do anything? No, just wait. I'll do it quickly. Thank you. Water was keeping me up. I understand. No more noise soon. Thank you, Mr. Jake. You're welcome, Michael. Lawyer. Hello, Mr. Mark. How can I help you today? Hello, David. I have a problem with my neighbor. Oh, what happened? He says I took his land, but I didn't. Don't worry, we'll find the truth. Yes, papers, I have mine. But they're different. 
Let me see both papers. We'll check them. Thank you, David. I'm so worried. It's okay. That's why I'm here. How long will this take? A few days to check everything. I trust you. Please help me. I'll do my best, Mark. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll talk soon. Bus driver. Good morning. Is this bus going downtown? Morn. Yes, sir. We'll be there in about 30 minutes. Great. How much is the fare? It's $2. Please take a seat. It's pretty crowded today. Yeah, it's always like this during rush hours. I guess everyone's going to work. Most likely. It gets busier on Mondays. Makes sense. Thank you, driver. You're welcome. Enjoy your ride. Tour guide. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the city tour. Hi, I'm excited. What's first? We're heading to the famous museum first. Awesome. I love history. You're going to enjoy this, Ben. It's rich in history. Can we take photos in the museum? Absolutely, but no flash photography. Understood. How long will we stay there? About two hours. Then we'll grab some lunch. Sounds like a plan. Any recommendations for lunch? The restaurant nearby serves great local dishes. I can't wait to try everything. You should. They're delicious. After lunch, we'll visit the old town. This day sounds perfect. Thank you, Emily. My pleasure. Let's make this trip memorable. Journalist. Good evening. Welcome to our show. Today we have a special guest. Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Hello, I'm Daniel, journalist at LE Magazine. Thanks for having me. Pleasure's ours. What inspired you to write your latest book? I felt there was a story that needed to be told about our generation's challenges. Interesting. How long did it take to complete? Almost two years. It required deep research. Your dedication is commendable. How has the response been? Mostly positive, which I'm grateful for. That's great to hear. What's next for you? I'm planning another book, diving deeper into certain topics. We'll look forward to it. Photographer. Hello, everyone. Jake here, back with a wild challenge. I'm photographing strangers with amazing style. Let's see who stands out today. <laughs> Wow, love your outfit. Hi, I'm Jake. That style is fantastic. I'm in a challenge to photograph strangers who catch my eye with their fashion sense. Can I take your photo for this? 
Oh, thank you. I'm flattered. Sure. Sounds like a cool challenge. What do you want me to do? Just be yourself. Your style speaks volumes. Let's find a good spot here on the street. All right, let's do this. Musician. Morning, Evan. It feels so good to be back in the studio. I've been working on this new track for weeks. It's always a pleasure having you here, Mia. I've prepped the room for you. Let me know if you need any adjustments. Thanks. I've been experimenting with some new sound. I want this track to have a bit of an electronic vibe. Interesting. I have some new plugins that might just be perfect for that. We can test them out. Sounds promising. Let's start with the bass track and we can layer on from there. All right, start when you're ready. And after the bass, let me know what effects or modifications you want. Will do. Okay, deep breath and let's make some magic. Painter. I've finally completed the series I was telling you about. It's a mix of abstract and realism. Oh, Nathan, I've been eagerly waiting for this. Your last collection was a hit, and I'm sure this one will be too. Thank you for believing in me. I've experimented a lot this time. Each painting tells a different story. I'm intrigued. Can I see them? Of course. Let me unveil the first one. It's titled Whispers of the Wind. It's breathtaking. The colors, the strokes, the depth. It's so emotive. I'm glad you like it. It was inspired by a windy day at the beach, observing how nature communicates silently. Your work always has such depth. I'd love to feature this series in next month's exhibit. That would be an honor. I've got a few more pieces I'd like to show you. Let's see them. I have a feeling this is going to be our best exhibit yet. Florist. Can I help you find some flowers? Yes, please. It's my mom's birthday. What do you suggest? How about roses? They are classic and beautiful. That sounds good. But can you mix them with other flowers? Of course. We can add lilies or daisies. They go well with roses. Great. I'll take a mix of roses and lilies then. How many flowers would you like? Let's go with a dozen. Can you make them look special? Of course. I'll wrap them nicely for you. Thank you. I'm sure my mom will love them. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.